International Pelvic Pain Society has developed an assessment form which can be very useful in the evaluation of chronic pelvic pain. This includes pertinent questions on domestic violence, physical and sexual abuse, and other areas that may be difficult to elicit in a one-on-one -on -one interview. The patient may be more forthcoming uh, by filling out the assessment form. We also want to know her family history. Assessing pain. A visual, analog, or numerical scale can be useful in determining the severity of the pain. This goes from no pain, which would be zero, to severe pain, causing teardrops, which would be a 10. A monthly pain calendar can help delineate the timing of the pain, whether it is associated with menses, mood, medicines, bowel function, intercourse, or physical activity. Physical exam should be done slow and easy. Be very gentle and very patient. Have the patient point out those areas of pain and tenderness. <clears throat> Start by observing the patient to determine what kind of stress the patient may be under. Focus on the abdomen and pelvis Start your exam with one finger to find the worst area of tenderness and then finish the complete the rest of the exam from there. Have the patient do a sit up or leg lift. to look for focal tenderness in the abdominal wall. We need to do a very thorough and complete pelvic exam. Start at the introitus. looking for signs of inflammation and starting with one finger evaluate the introitus for any tenderness or masses. We want to then evaluate the vagina and pelvic muscles again for areas of tenderness or constriction. The bimanual examination will help delineate any masses, nodularity, and tenderness. Ask if anything that you're doing replicates the patient's pain. The musculoskeletal portion of the exam 
includes not only the previously mentioned abdominal exam, but also check for tenderness in the sacroiliac joints, for lumbar lordosis, scoliosis, and look with the patient standing to see if the iliac crests are of equal height. In summary, chronic pelvic pain is a major health care concern and problem resulting in numerous visits to the doctor and numerous surgeries. When you see a patient with chronic pelvic pain, think about the six possible areas of etiology, considering the major causes first. The old adage we learned in medical school, when you hear hoofbeats, think of horses, not zebras. You must do a thorough history. The International Pelvic Pain Society's assessment form is a very useful tool in this regard. This can be downloaded off of their website on the internet and then do a careful, considerate, unhurried, and patient abdominal and pelvic exams.